Good morning Soho Parish. It's the Friday update. I have to apologise that it is coming to you on a Saturday morning. I'm afraid I was very busy yesterday afternoon and by the time I got to record the Friday update it was dark and I thought it would be much nicer to wait until it was light and record it on the Saturday morning. So I hope nobody who's had a birthday this week was disappointed um, because I am going to do birthdays later on, don't worry. This week's been an interesting one. We have set up Seesaw in the Key Stage 2 classes and I've been privileged to be invited to the Year 6 Seesaw group and have a look at some of the work and the comments that you've been uploading. And it's really nice to see the way that you're using that to communicate with each other, but also to upload some of the work you've been doing to share it with Robin. And it's really nice to see how you're engaging with that home learning. So keep up the good work Year 6. Do make sure that you go on to Tapestry and, um, and upload what you've been up to because it's really interesting and useful for us to see that. Um, in, and I'm looking forward to going in to see the year three, four and five seesaws very soon. Uh, in Key Stage 1 and Reception, we've been using Tapestry. And again, I was privileged to be invited to have a look at everything you've been doing this week. I've really enjoyed it. And goodness me, there is so much. It's, I've only just looked at the first couple of pages, I think, and I can't wait to go a bit deeper and see what everyone else has been up to. So I will try and comment as much as I can on your work and your lovely uh, home learning that you've been doing. It's really interesting to see how you've been engaging with the work sent by your teachers, but you've also been doing lots of creative projects as well. And I think some of you have been following the YouTube videos um, and some of you have been doing your own topic based learning at home with your parents. So thank you so much for sharing that with us and well done to your parents. Uh, it looks like a huge amount is going on at home and I can't wait to hear all about it when we come back to school. Uh, the second thing that's been happening this week is all the teachers have been calling families and I think actually most of the families now have had their phone call. If you haven't, don't worry, they're getting there. Um, you might want to check your emails to make sure that you haven't been given a time slot or you haven't missed them. Um, but uh, it's been really lovely for the teachers to have that uh, phone call with families and with children and hear how you're all getting on. And I know it's helped them to shape the way that they're providing home learning for you. So one of the things that they've looked at this week is offering video lessons. So I know Robin has been doing that for some time and I think some of the other teachers have trialled it this week, um, putting on little video clips to explain the learning. So hopefully if you've got access to a laptop at home, you should be able to watch those videos and then take part in your lesson. So uh, really well done to everyone who's been looking at that and a really well, big well done to the teachers. I've been privileged to be part of their WhatsApp group this week and I've seen that they've been really communicating effectively with each other to get this set up. It is not the easiest software to get set up or use um, and those who've been using it for a bit longer have really been helping the others and they've been working super collaboratively to make sure that they can, um, they can get this going. So it's really nice to see that teachers are learning something new through this experience too. Um, and I'm really grateful to them for all the hard work they've put in on that. One of the things that was reported to me this week from the phone calls is that Jackie said that Ben has done a fantastic project with his dad. And in fact, it's, it was so great that they've decided to share it with the whole class. So watch out for that year three and, and well done, Ben and, and your dad for such innovative learning. Um, and I'm going to finish with birthdays. So there's been a lot of birthdays this week. I'm just looking at my list. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven people had a birthday this week. And I know you won't have been able to have a party or celebrate with your friends, but um, we can celebrate a little bit now. I hope you had a lovely day. I had a lovely day on my birthday and thank you for all the birthday wishes that have been sent through. I'm going to uh, sing to these children now and I hope to hear from you how you celebrated your birthday. You can always put it in the comments below if you've got permission from your parents. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear Ava and Eleanor and Esme and Eugene and Connor and Awab and Sienna, happy birthday to you. Please don't forget to tell me if I've missed you out at all, if I've got your birthday wrong. Um, I don't want to miss anyone out. I want to make sure everybody gets a birthday celebration. So please do get in contact and you know all the usual ways. 
This week also saw the launch of our website. Um, so I do hope you've had a look at it. Um, and there's a really useful form for getting in touch at the back. But the most important thing that you want to look at on the website is the page called classes. There is a link on the front page, on the home page, to classes and then within classes you can just click on your class and it will take you straight to your work for that week. So we hope that that's going to make things a lot simpler for parents and for children. And I know that over the next couple of weeks uh, teachers are moving towards leaving the work for children on the Friday. I'm just going to do that gradually uh, so that parents have time over the weekend to prepare if you need to print anything out or get anything ready. If you do have problems accessing the work or if you haven't, haven't got a laptop or you haven't got enough laptops in your house, please could you get in touch with me because there are more and more companies now who are offering to support families who don't have the right technology to provide home learning and it might be that I can, I can source something for you. So again, please do let me know if you're struggling with that home learning for any reason, if there's anything getting in the way. I hope you enjoy, I'm just looking out of the window now, I hope you enjoy the beautiful sunshine this lovely Saturday. Um, and we'll see you next week uh, for lots more updates. Please keep checking back to YouTube because there are lots of exciting activities for you to do at home. I can't wait to try the clothes folding this week. So thank you, Robin, for that. My clothes drawer, my T-shirt drawer is a real mess. And I'm um, looking forward to doing that later on. Bye bye.